Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah, and you are not gonna believe it. We are at the finale for Panning Games. I have super mixed feelings about the finale for this project. Um, I think I last time I told you that this was created by Elise, that was not correct. It was created by Amber. Um, I will go ahead and link all the info down below. Um, I'm also going to link my intro video if I remember. Um, it was super fun and super challenging to pick the items for this project. So I try to be really intentional when I pick which items are gonna go into a project. I don't wanna have like, you know, 17 lipsticks that I'm working on at the same time because I don't reapply lipstick all that often. Um, you know, and you can only put like so many eyeshadows on and so many blushes on and, you know, um, but the super, super fun part about this project was, so first of all, it is based on the Hunger Games and we put a bunch of products into a bag or a box or some receptacle and then we picked them out at random random until we got to 24 items and those were to signify the 24 tributes just like in the Hunger Games. I ended up with some pretty tough products and that's why I am feeling super accomplished for you know the items that I'm going to show you today but also there's a little bit of me that just goes mm, but you were so close you know. Um, so anyways let me go ahead and jump on in. I've got some empties, I've got some declutters and then I want to show you where I'm ending uh, for this project. Okay, so for starters, like I said, I've got some empties. Um, I didn't know, I didn't start this one until pretty far into the project. This is the Briogeo Blossom and Bloom. It's the Ginseng and Biotin Volumizing Spray. Obviously just a small sample, but, um, and I think it took me maybe four uses to use all of it. Uh, maybe a, a few more than that, but um, like I said, I didn't use this until pretty far into the project because because I was working on an oil that I had for ages and ages. Um, but I did really like this product and it smells really nice. And um, I don't know if it was necessarily volumizing, but um, I did, you know, I did enjoy the experience. So that one is out of the way. I'm happy to have one marked off for this project and also to have um, another hair item in my empties for this year. Next, we have the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask, and this is a pricey item. I know I've mentioned it a couple times. I think the full size is like $92 or $94. This little sample is 30 something dollars. So I, once I started using it and I discovered that I really liked it, I was very, um, I don't want to say careful, but you know, I did kind of like cherish using it because like I said, it's really pricey and I really did like it, but it's not something that I'm going to go run right out and spend a hundred bucks on tomorrow. Um, so this one is finished. Hopefully you can see in there that there is not a drop left in that. Um, like I said, I did really, really like this, but it's just not, um, you know, I might put it on like my loves list and at some point if someone wants to do something nice for me, they can, you know, buy me this mask. But I've got so much skincare that I really don't need to go run out and buy another mask right now. Here it is, guys. Are you ready? Perfectly posh, snowed in, vanilla mint, sugar, lip, scrub empty. I cannot tell you how proud I am to have this finished. This is, I mean, it's not even that much product. How much is in here? 0.25 ounces. So it's seven grams of product. This should have been done long ago. I just didn't like it. Um, there was nothing wrong with the product itself. Let me say that. It was a good scrub. Um, you know, there were a lot of sugar granules in it, but the vanilla in it was more of like an earthy vanilla and not a super sweet vanilla. 
So it just wasn't my favorite. It wasn't what I was expecting, and so it was a little bit of a letdown, um, but I used it. I finished it. I literally, I think I finished it yesterday or the day before yesterday. Um, and again, it's not something that I like overused just so I could say it was an empty. I definitely did take my time and use, what, 360 three days to get through this little item, but super happy to have this one done and have it finished and I'm ready to move on to my next scrub. Since we are talking about lip items, let's talk about these three, well, there they are, these three liquid lipsticks. Um, like I said, these everything was chosen at random. I certainly did not think I was going to have so many liquid lipsticks that I would pull out for this project. Um, these two are by ColourPop. We have Femme, which is this purpley mauve shade, and we have Screenshot, which is this peachy shade. Um, these ended up going bad on me. And it's a bummer because I liked them. I liked the way that they looked on me, but um, you know, ColourPop just doesn't last forever, and so um, these ended up going bad on me, so I am going to be decluttering them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to include them in my declutter. I'm not including them in the dollar totals for my empties because I didn't... Um, I, I didn't finish them, obviously, but for the purpose of this project, I am going to consider them as completed because I used them as much as I could. This last liquid lipstick, this is the Melted Matte by Too Faced in the shade Queen Bee, and this is brand new, never been opened, never been swatched, never been touched. Um, I had figured out a few months ago that I probably was not going to get to this one, um, so I just set it to the side. I am hopeful that I will be able to either roll this into lip service or you know maybe even save it for lip service next year, I'm not sure, but um, once I figured out that I was not gonna be able to get to it, um, I didn't even try because I didn't wanna have another opened, not finished lip product. Lord knows I've got plenty of those. This last one is another declutter, um, not last product, just last one in this section. Uh, this is another declutter. This is DTLA by ColourPop, and I started using this. Again, I went through this like massive ColourPop buying spree a few years back, and I bought it all. I bought probably 70% of the website. Eh, maybe not that much, but I bought a lot. Um, and some of that were these, I bought several of these eyeliners and I used them for a little while. Some of them I used and some of them I didn't. This one was one that I didn't end up using. So I put it in this project and it was one that I pulled out as one of my tributes. Um, I used it for a little while and it was so dried out and I don't know, I know ColourPop has changed their formula, so I don't know if it was the formula on this, I don't know if it's because it's old, I don't know what it was, but I tried using it and it would literally like just tug on my lower lash line and I don't, I don't need any assistance in looking tired or older or, you know, I don't, I don't need anything messing with my under eyes. So this is another one that I am going to declutter. Um, it's fine. I know the ColourPop items are not expensive. It just does bum me out because expensive or not, it is still money that I have spent. So I'm going to, Damn it, there's a fly in here. There's been a fly in my house for like two days and <laughs> I can't get it. Um, anyways, I am going to try really hard to start rotating, you know, some of my products more and really being aware of, um, you know, just the age of some of these items. Okay, so that's everything I have either finished or have decluttered for this project. I am left with four items, and this is bumming me out, but I do have good progress on all of them, so I wanna go ahead and show you where I'm at. Um, the first one that I really, really thought I was gonna finish, this is the Sunbum Tinted Lip Balm in Bonfire, and 
I, this one is broken, it melted, and so I can't really roll it up and down. Um, but I do have product left, and I'm so bummed about that. I really, really thought this was gonna be one that I would be able to finish off in this project. But I'll say this, it's a lot softer than I thought it was, um, and it was pretty close to brand new. So I just didn't finish it. I am happy that I made some progress on it. I am gonna continue to work on it for my sort of, you know, more casual days, um, probably just when I'm kind of hanging out around the house. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to finish this one off and put it in my empties for the year. Next we have the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. You guys know I did not really focus on this one very much. I This is a product that goes up from the bottom. So I did get about halfway and then I kind of put it to the side. I was working on some other primers. I brought it back out a few weeks ago and I started to use it. It is a more lotion-y consistency. But um, I just found like I think it must have been the foundation that I was w using it with. I just didn't love it. I Maybe I'm using it at the wrong time of year because obviously it is, you know, now we're into August and it's crazy hot here in Texas. And so maybe I'm just not using it at the right time of year. Maybe I should have been using this one through the winter um, and maybe I would have had, uh, you know, a more enjoyable experience with it. But um this is one I think I'm gonna put to the side for a little while, and maybe I'll try this one again in the fall and the winter when, um, you know, when I'm gonna need some more moisture. And All right, next we have this e.l.f. powder. This is the Beautifully Bare Sheer Finishing Powder in light medium. And I had actually set this one to the side, I'm gonna say about a month ago, pretty much when I realized I wasn't gonna be able to finish it. I just set it to the side and I started focusing on one powder. So this is where I am ending. And I'm pretty proud of this. I did not realize how densely packed this powder was. It took me forever just to hit pan. This is 9.4 grams of product. I don't really know how that compares to like other powders. I just know this took me ages. I was using it you know, pretty much all the time um, up until about a month ago. And um, I will go back to using this because I would really like to finish it off, but I'm just, I, I, I liked the powder. I'm just really surprised at how long it took me to make any kind of progress on it. And finally, guys, this is another disappointing product. Uh, not disappointing product, I'm disappointed in my progress on the product. So like I said, about a month ago, I had quit using the uh, the e.l.f. powder because I was really, really focusing on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. I thought, there's no way I'm gonna finish both of these powders. So let me focus on this one. It's got more progress, it's smaller. Surely at least I will be able to finish this one off. You guys. Do you see how close I am to finishing this powder off? I've got powder here, the tiniest bit of powder in these two corners, and that's it. Probably with another week, this would be gone. This is the one that gets me. <laughs> Uh, because I feel like I tried this every which way. I tried it as a highlight. Didn't work for my skin tone. You could barely see it. So then I tried it as an all over face powder for about a week or so. I liked it as an all over face powder, but I really wanted to make progress on the e.l.f. powder too. So then I was using it just under my eyes to set my concealer. I didn't really love it under my eyes. Um, it's definitely not meant for that. I felt like um, it did end up looking a little bit cakey or flaky. Um, my favorite way was with it all over, um, you know, as just my all over setting powder. Um, and I feel like had I used it that way from the beginning, this would be gone no problem. But I, I didn't know, you know, you just have to figure things out. And um, so this is not one that I'm gonna repurchase. I know this is an expensive item and 
if I can spend, you know, whatever this is, eight, ten dollars on that kind of a setting powder, uh, I certainly would would spend that before I would spend um, how thirty or forty or however much on this one. Um, anyways. That's all I've got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will like this video. Comment down below and let me know what do you think of this finale. So I know I ended up with four products remaining that I didn't, I wasn't able to finish off, but I think that four out of 24 is not that bad. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye.